Good morning. I did not do a blog yesterday because I was on the road all day and today I'm a little tired from all that driving. But I do have a project that needs to be done and finished tomorrow and that is decorating a wreath. So the challenge is I was given a wreath and I can decorate it really any way that I want, which of course just leaves so many possibilities. I've considered making some paper ornaments, which I think could be kind of fun using my Cricut, or maybe I will just dig through my mounds of ribbon and find a really fun one and make a bunch of bows or weave them all in and out. And I could check through some of my Christmas decorations and see if there's any ornaments that I don't mind parting with. Uh, I do get the wreath back in the end, but it will be on display somewhere for uh, from Sunday until Christmas. So let's see what I can come up with. I am using my Cricut to cut out a perfect pentagon, five-sided figure, and I am then going to fold that into an origami star. I watched a few videos on YouTube and the internet and found one that uh, was pretty easy to follow, although I did get stuck at one point and had to go back and, and rewatch some things. The real trick is to make a very, very good crease. So I was using my fingernail to crease the paper. Um, a bone folder would also work, but that seemed to be part of the secret. Here I am getting a little lost. Keep checking the video file or the video on the internet. And finally, finally, I understand the error of my ways. So with a few more folds and creases, I am then finally able to make a star. And one more time with a burgundy paper. I will be creating a tutorial on how to create this origami star. So look for that in the next couple of days. I'm a bit too tired to feel truly inspired, but I will continue and finish this wreath tomorrow. So check back and see the final results.